Hey guys, Ricky here. This week we are exploring artsy and creative photography, but more along the lines of truly what you are interested in, what drives your photography, what your passion is, and I sometimes struggle with feeling like I am creative at all, and so I wanted to lean into some um, styles of photography that I've been interested in for a long time, and one of those has been double exposures, and I, uh, I'm not an avid photoshopper, but I have a, a Photoshop and a camera double exposure to show you to practice with, and I had a lot of fun with this. I really enjoyed the process, but it's obviously not something that I can do very often. I just tend to shoot too much and don't want to sit on my computer that long, if I'm perfectly honest. Um, but this was a really fun uh, opportunity to kind of see what my camera was capable of. Like, it's really cool to learn that, you know, with a blown out background, like here's the subject, right? Here's the couple. And if this background is blown out, which I would have to fix in editing because I would never do that on purpose. Um, and then you put an overlay there or you take another photo, it flips the photo around um, or depending on your orientation, of course, it will adjust how it is situated on, on your other layer. And um, the darks are typically where they would show up, but I flipped it so that I could have uh, kind of a balance instead of like I don't know, I just didn't want to like fully washed out. And that's how I see a lot of double exposures done is where one side is just, or the background is really washed out. I wanted it to still be a whole scene, a whole photo. Um, and so this was just kind of a fun uh, and something different for me to do. And I really liked it. Uh, I, I can see myself practicing and doing this more. And this is kind of going to be a fun one to edit because I can play with the colors so much more than normal because their skin tones here don't really matter. Um, so it's just kind of a fun opportunity to do something different and just really like not hold myself in any in any parameters or obligations. So I really hope that this week as you guys explore kind of the artsy photography prompt that that I put out that you guys just have a lot of fun that there's no pressure you can um, do whatever whatever you want you can shoot however it feels good to you the only thing I'm gonna suggest is that you really lean into your creativity that you um, really try to you know take something that you feel inspired by like be be genuinely I don't want to say impressed because that's kind of a harsh word but be be happy with your photo and and think like okay that that feeds me. That makes me feel good. I'm I'm really happy with that result. So I would love to see what you guys come up with and how just how that makes you feel in the end. Like, do you feel too constricted by the photo prompts we do, or um, is it just kind of a fun change in in what we've been doing? And uh, yeah, this was just this was a lot of fun. Uh, I know this is kind of a new trend. It started, of course, with film photography and our most digital cameras now, uh, I meant to say most digital cameras now can do this in camera. So this is just a setting where I can go to the, the shooting menu, I believe it is. Yeah, the shooting menu and I scroll down to multiple exposures. I know that most cameras have this, but if you don't, this is um, not terribly difficult to manage in Photoshop. Um, I am not the most Photoshop savvy person out there, but uh, I know that it, you know, you, there's a lot of videos online to just follow along if it's something you want to do. Um, but otherwise, you know, there's a lot of other options. There's tilt shifts and there's light leaks and there's freelancing and of course in your, there's just your own natural creativity whatever you're truly uh, skilled at, at doing. Um, this was here in, in camera where I know this is completely un unrealistic with uh, one of my favorite section of my bookshelves was John Steinbeck and the sunset outside my front door and I just you know I just had fun with kind of seeing how you know the darker part of your exposure so if you're looking at the photo with just just trees here. Um, this bottom portion was fully blacked out, give or take a few light leaks coming through 
the trees and then you have the sunset sky and then the other photo is just all light so it's really cool to see how it balances like all of the actual information is captured and shows up through the dark side of it if you have light like this it almost looks like a grainy film um, you know crackly vibe which uh, it just happened that way I don't edit it like that at all um, in fact you know that I most of you who follow me know that I um, don't even have any grain going on so that was just a natural kind of response from the the second photo I took so the bookshelf was the first and then the trees were the second and with all the dark that's where the overlay shows the most information and then everything that is um, well, technically it would be blown out. There's a little color from the sky. Would be basically blank space. I didn't want fully blank space though because I wanted it to be an entire photo of interest. Um, but this is the before I edited it and then this was after. So that was kind of a, a little fun shift. I wanted to just have a natural look to bring some harmony and togetherness between the indoor and the outdoor. Obviously, I'm not winning any awards here. It's pretty um, kind of a weird comparison, but it, it really merges my two interests of, you know, the outdoors and my books. So it was just a fun way to play. And then, of course, I can sit here and edit this a million different ways. I don't have to worry about skin tones or anything, just like with the couple um, photo before. I can I can adjust and change things really however I want. I did do a graduated filter up on top here. You can see I take it away. And it was just that washed out um, top where the the least information was gathered so there was like uh, my camera doesn't save both separate images like a lot of the newer models do it just gives me the combined two images so um, you can't I can't show you a before of just the trees but uh, this was just like a, a kind of a dusky blue sky uh, with a little bit of pink from sunset so there's not a lot of information up there and then you can see the rest is just books and that's where it how it combined the information um, of these two exposures so I just I thought that was really interesting it was a really fun take so I hope that you guys are able to take this week's prompt and just have fun don't feel any re any restrictions um, and just lean into your create creativity wholeheartedly like do whatever makes you the happiest, whatever makes you feel good. Um, and I really look forward to seeing with what you come up with. I, um, I, I am doing this video a little bit early. There was a lot more that I wanted to practice on to share with you, but I have a, I'm going to be out of town this weekend, so I won't get a chance to probably share anything before then when I normally send out the, the prompt information. So I hope that you guys found this a little bit helpful a little bit inspiring and then I hope that you just take this and just thrive and have fun with shooting for this prompt and have a great week. I will see you guys soon.